Hey guys, this is going to be a really quick uh, video just to uh, give you a possible scenario here. I, I got four charts open, the Kraken chart, bit, uh, this is a Bitstamp um, capitulation chart, uh, this Coinbase chart, and this is a uh, BitMEX chart. If you notice, uh, down here uh, around 9,125 is very strong support, and on this Coinbase chart this is also around 9,125. And I'd like to show you, uh, <laughs> Kenny here, I just want to show you... Um, so, so Kenny here said, That yellow flip circle is an absolute joke, optics. You're not drawing them properly. 9,252 is proper range, of course. There'll be resistance, and, and he called me a goon. You, <laughs> I don't care how he draws flip circles, but if, if he's saying this flip circle isn't accurate, I mean, we found support here, we found more support, and then we found resistance moving straight down this ring. So Kenny, I don't know how you draw flip circles, but I, I you know, the way I draw them, it works just fine for me. I, you know, if, if you if you want a lesson, may, maybe I can teach you. <laughs> you, sh you should pay for my tutorials because I think you're drawing your flip circles wrong. Anyways, guys, all I want to point out it is possible because we're Kenny because we're moving down this this ring so perfectly, getting perfect. But look, Kenny, look, perfect resistance, perfect resistance, perfect resistance, perfect resistance. And look, Kenny, right here, coming right down it. So, Kenny, what I think is going to happen, guys, is uh, within the next possibly, there is 19 minutes left in this candle. I'm on the 30 minute. So, I'd say in about an hour and a half, um, we're going to cross this ring. I think because we're moving down this ring so perfectly, Kenny, that it's possible when we cross this, we could get a pump. Uh, possible targets. Uh, and again, you know, if, if we do break this support at, at around 9,100. To 9,125, I do think you know we'll have a further, you know, we'll have much further to go to the downside. But if we do get a pump again, guys, usually when you when you're following down a ring um, and it's it's like actually keeping price. I mean, you can see how perfectly we're following down this. So once you cross the ring, you can expect something to happen. So one scenario is we we break support, we drop much lower, but it is possible when we cross this ring, we could get a pump. So if we find support here around 9,125, and then we cross this ring, I think it's possible we could get a push up. And, and looking for targets, you know, I was going through looking at these charts. So, you know, we do have this red ring here. We've previously pushed above this red ring. Um, so uh, a target, a likely target, we, we respect these FIB channels here. So if we push up, you know, right here, this is uh, our previous um, support, which would become resistance. So if we do get a pump, we could push above this um, red ring, just like we have here and here, and then potentially get rejected. Um, and, and the reason I'm telling you guys, this is around 9,300. 9, this is around 9,316. I think 9,300 is a likely target. On that chart, it shows 9,300. And on this chart, hold on. On this chart as well, um, if we come up here, this this uh, ring right here that's previously a lot of support and resistance is right at 9,300. So if we do push up, I do think 9,300 is a possibility. If we do hit 9,300, that will take us above this um, this white ring right or this this white ring that has been pushing us down. So you know it's possible if we do push up above that and we stay above it and find support, we could get more bullish, or it could just be a fake out like right here. Um, so we could push up possibly, you know, you know, maybe this would be our resistance around 9,263 But again 9,300 would take us above this ring. So it's possible. We don't make it that high um, But again guys, you know, that's in about an hour and a half two hours So I'm gonna try to get this video up really quick uh, and I did make a post about it on Twitter guys So uh, follow me on Twitter and again if you do want access to the charts that information in the description That's it